Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get a stereo mix back on your Windows 10 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and this should hopefully be able to resolve your issue. So we're going to be downloading a codec here from Realtek's website. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, I'm going to open up Google Chrome for this tutorial. And once you open up Google Chrome, you want to navigate over to google.com. It's usually a good starting point for most of these web-based tutorials. And now on to Google here, you want to type in real tech, T-E-K, and then type in high definition audio codecs, and then just hit enter. One of the best matches should be be from a realtech.com website here and should say high definition audio codecs. Just left click on that, should be one of the top Google search results. Make sure you're getting it directly from this website I have up here, realtech.com.tw. So underneath high definition audio codecs, they're available from download from the Realtek website or general drivers for our audio ICs and may offer the customizations made by your system motherboard manufacturer. Left click on this little check mark next to I accept the above and left click on next. Give it a moment here. So now underneath windows you're going to select the, either the 32 or the 64 bit download. Again most people are probably going to be running 64 bit in today's day and age. So that's what I'm going to select. So underneath download I'm going to select the global download for the 64 bit version. However, I should note that on my current virtual environment, I'm running a 32-bit version of the operating system, which is pretty unusual, but it should behave in a similar way. So I'm going to select the 32-bit one in my case. So if I said I was going to run the 64-bit, that's what most people are probably going to be running. Um, it is about 170 megabytes to download, so it will take a couple minutes to download, depending on your internet download speeds. So just be patient, it will take a minute, or at least in my case. Hopefully you guys are quicker, but we will have to wait and see on this for a couple minutes here, so just be patient. And just in any event that you guys are not familiar with how to actually know if you're running a 32 or 64 bit version of Windows, you can just right click on the start button, and then go and left click on system near the top of this menu. And just give it a second here. So now if you on Windows 10, if you go down a bit, you can see underneath system type it says 32-bit operating system and then more than likely it'll be the same base processor. However, since again I'm in a virtual environment, it's a little weird here. So again, you want to go based off what your operating system is. So in my case again, like I said, 32-bit. So just be patient, it looks like this download is wrapping up here and will be done momentarily. Okay, so once it's finished downloading, I'm just going to left click on it once to run it. Now you might get a user account control window, so just don't be surprised if you do. Looks like it's just going to take a moment here to open up. And it's going to ask if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. Left click on yes. It will unpack the codec here, so just be patient it's extracting it. It's a pretty simple and automated process, I have to admit, but i just like to walk you guys through it, and I'll show you guys how to enable it once it's finished downloading onto our computer. I'm going to select Next.
Again, guys, this is a pretty popular website. You're more than welcome to uh, look into these guys. They're a completely legitimate organization. Realtek is pretty big. They make uh, semiconductors, if any of you guys are familiar with them. And I believe they are based out of Taiwan. So in order to finish, you will have to restart your computer. However, I'm going to select, uh, no, I'll restart my computer later because I have something going on in the background. I do not want to restart my computer right now. But all you would do in order to see the Realtek driver once your computer is restarted would be to go to your sound or speaker icon in the bottom right corner of your taskbar. I'm just going to right click on it, left click on recording devices, and then you would just, in this blank space right here, right click and then show disabled devices you would see the Realtek driver showing up here and it would say Stereo Mix. You would just right click on it to enable it and once you have enabled it you would just go and left click on Set Default down here at the bottom just to confirm that that would be your default Stereo Mix. So pretty straightforward tutorial guys and then you just left click on OK. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.